When it comes to blaster weapons in Star Wars The Old Republic, the blaster pistol has the largest variety in styles and the highest number of unique weapons with special animations or designs. Blaster pistols are by far the most popular non-lightsaber weapon. The scoundrel and the powertech wield a single blaster, while the gunslinger and mercenary dual wield. In this video, we'll be going over some of the top 10 most unique, interesting, and surprising blaster pistols available in the game. A majority of these pistols will be from the cartel market, so if you're interested in saving up for one, check the GTN, the player-run marketplace, to see how many credits they'll cost you. While some are in an affordable range, many of these cost millions of credits. Number 10, the classic blaster pistol. While a lot of the weapons I'm going to show you later on in this list are pretty outrageous, the classic blaster pistol is the one that's been by your side this whole time, your trusty partner in crime. The game has a lot of these fairly simple, fairly small blaster pistols, and I think they're probably one of the best things to wield, especially if you're playing a scoundrel or a gunslinger. The first one I wanted to showcase is called the Custom Belt Blaster Pistol, and this is actually a crafted weapon. This crafting schematic doesn't come directly from the Arms Tech Crew Skills Trainer. Instead, you need to find the actual schematic item, usually from the GTN for the Custom Belt Blaster Pistol, and then you can craft it. It's one of the very few moddable blaster pistol crafted items in the game. The second is Balmoran Hand Cannon Grek, and this one's probably going to be one of the most reasonably priced blaster pistols you're going to come across in this list that still has some type of flashy effect. The blaster pistol itself is very simple, but it does have that crazy aura light cannon attached to it in terms of a laser sight, and you can change the color of that based on your color crystal. If you're looking for something with a guaranteed low, low price, you can get the M300 Elite Stealth Interceptor Weapon, and this is actually from a Tatooine vendor. It's called a specialty vendor. It's usually up a set of stairs, either Republic side or Imperial side in the main Tatooine city, and it's for level 20 and it up, and it costs a whopping 11,000 credits. If you're looking for something a little less rugged looking, a little more matte black, there's the BL-28 Blaster. It has a small little light on the side. That'll change color with your color crystal. That's a Cartel Market or GTN one. Speaking of non-Cartel ones, I really like the Z-311 Sonic Blaster Pistol if you're looking for something that isn't black. It's got some wood browns, it's got a little bit of green, it's got some all kinds of grays and blacks attached to it, and this is actually a PvP weapon that you can earn on a Republic character for Valor level 42 or higher. And lastly, one more simple one that I really like. This one's called the Buryars MK-3 Blaster Pistol. It's still very small, very simple, but it's got a unique design compared to the other blaster pistols I showed so far. And uh, once again, that colored light will change color with your color crystal. Okay, now that we've got that simple blaster pistols out of the way, let's get on to the good stuff. Number nine. Masterworks Ancient Blaster Pistol. This very small, compact blaster pistol has a really cool design. It has some paint already added to the blaster pistol itself. This one is actually from the Osis Reputation Vendor and requires legendary rank, so you would need to run the Osis dailies, and then you can go purchase it from the Osis vendors with credits. Apart from the design, what I really like about this one is the sound. It's a very high tinkling sound as if uh, you're shooting breaking glass. <laughs> this is actually the one that I use on my gunslinger, so he's got a double set of these. Number 8, Mischief and Anarchy. These were probably one of the first sets of blaster pistols that really started making waves uh, when it came to cosmetic items for non-force users. Before then, the only really cool looking ones we were getting were mostly lightsabers, but these ones really made waves and are high on the nostalgia factor, as well as really good looking. Mischief and Anarchy are kind of a set. They're slightly different from each other, but they're meant to be used together. But of course you can buy them separately. They are matte black. They have a little bit of glow to them. 
What's especially cool about them is that they were the first set of blaster pistols that came with a holster, so that means not only do you get the actual weapons with these, they also come with a holster that shows up on your character's leg uh, when your weapon is away. The weapon shows up in the holster. When your weapons are drawn, the holster is just kind of sitting there empty. It adds an extra element of cosmetic and roleplay appeal to these. Number seven, the Black Nebula Heavy Blaster. I really like this one because it has a very unique, very alien kind of shape. While most Star Wars weapons are in some way or another based on real life weapons, this one, <laughs> this one's uh, gone pretty far from its original source. This one also has a cool little orange yellow heads up display that shows up when you draw your weapon. If you like that one but are looking for kind of a simpler, more pared down version with less of the glowy bits, there's also the R-30017 Acheon Blaster. And what's fun about this one is not only is it a very nice, simple looking weapon, it's also actually a reference to the Star Wars The Old Republic subreddit. The name would translate to Reddit and Acheon was one of the former moderators of the subreddit. So just a fun little reference there. Number six, the Ord Tech F7 Blaster. I really like the, the look and the glow of this one. If you're looking for something more futuristic, you need your glowy bits on your blaster pistol. This one comes with the uh, panels on the side as well as the laser sight that comes out of the front it, that's already built in and will change color with your color crystal. If you're into that kind of blue color but are looking for something a little different, a more recent one to have come out is the BP-4 Vigilance Blaster Pistol and I really like the sound on this one. Number 5, the Pirate Blaster Pistol. I think this is kind of a fan favorite just because it's so strange and so out of place in the Star Wars universe. Um, this was introduced as part of the Shadow of Revan expansion. There's a whole set of kind of pirate or smuggler themed weapons out there. So there's two different types that you can get right now for the Blaster Pistol. The first one is the Silver and Wood version and that's called the Experimental Osin Eliminators Blaster Pistol and you can pick that up from the Osis vendor. This one doesn't have any requirements other than be level 70 and up. You just like fly to Osis and buy it. <laughs> yeah. And the other version is called the Trimantium Blaster. Um, there's the uh, main hand and a separate offhand version and they're actually crafted by Arms Techs. If I remember right, once again, it's not a schematic that's directly from the crew skills trainer. Instead, you have to find the schematic easiest way to get that would be from the GTN from another player. Number four, the Payday Blaster Pistol. I really, really like this one. I like how unique the shape of this one is. I like how detailed this one is. It also has these small lights on the side that will change color based on your color crystal. On top of it just generally looking really good, it also has a special firing pattern. When it fires, it kind of shows a, a distortion. It's kind of a flare, kind of like a sound wave, I guess you could say. And it also comes with a sheath, much like that uh, Anarchy and Mischief blaster pistols we talked about earlier. Number three, the Furious Gladiators Blaster Pistol. I told you I was going to show you some ridiculous ones. Um, this one has a animation on the tip. It's almost got like a an axe that's been welded onto the end of this blaster pistol. This one's going to be great for those of you who are playing as a Mandalorian or as a bounty hunter and are playing the Power Tech class and need that single blaster pistol or if you're playing the mercenary with dual wielding. Number two. Gambler's Luck Blaster Pistol. This one's also got a very unique design. It's kind of clompy, kind of condensed version. It's a lot thicker than a lot of the other blaster pistols, um, but it also comes with a special distortion wave firing pattern. Once again, it's got that cool kind of uh, special animated effect when you fire compared to a regular blaster pistol. 
And what is my number one most interesting blaster pistol in all of Star Wars The Old Republic? That will be Rascal's Way. Not only does this have a really nice, simple, sleek design, it's got a funny little harpoon attached to the side of it. It comes with that built-in weapon sheath that sits on your leg. But what I like most about this weapon is its unique firing pattern. It fires in a starburst shape. That's very, very visually striking compared to almost every other blaster pistol in the entire game, and that makes it my number one. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 overview of some of the most interesting, outrageous, or ridiculous blaster pistols in the entire game. There is way more than could fit in this top 10 list, so let me know in the comments below. Are there any that I missed that absolutely should have made it on here? What are your favorites? Which made it on and which didn't? If you want to show your support and ensure the future of videos about your favorite game, Star Wars The Old Republic, visit sutterista.com slash support. And if you want to have similar Star Wars The Old Republic videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. As always, hokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side.